In a dramatic blow for former President Trump, the Supreme Court rejected his appeal to block the release of personal White House documents being sought by the Congressional Committee looking into the January 6th insurrection. They include presidential diaries, notes, and speech drafts dealing with the uprising. In an unsigned opinion, the court acknowledged there are serious and substantial concerns whether a former president can prevent disclosure of certain records. In New York, Attorney General Letitia James stepped up her pressure to get Trump and his children to respond to subpoenas to testify in her ongoing investigation. In a court ruling, she released the most detailed accounting yet of allegations that Trump's company exaggerated the value of its holdings to impress lenders or misstated the value of property to reduce his tax burden. In court papers, James' evidence uncovered shows, among other things, that Trump exaggerated the size of his Trump Tower penthouse to increase its value by $200 million that he allegedly added 15 to 30 percent premiums to some properties bearing the Trump name, placed a $25 million value on daughter Ivanka's rented condo, despite an option to buy for $8.5 million. And James says evidence shows the Trump organization inflated the value of a local golf course by millions by counting fees that were never paid. James is hoping the detailed evidence will convince a judge to order Trump to respond to the subpoena and testify. Former prosecutor Imran Ansari believes these latest details are damning for Trump. It is damning because these allegations of this nature to this detail have not been put forth previously, and it's providing the means or a good argument for the attorney general in order to get the deposition testimony of the former president and his children. In a separate investigation, the Manhattan District Attorney has brought criminal charges against the Trump Organization and its chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, who pleaded not guilty last year to tax fraud. It's now up to a judge to decide whether to deny Trump's effort to avoid testifying or to grant the attorney general's attempt to get him and his children to testify. Based on my experience, the judge is going to deny the motion to quash and is going to require these individuals to appear before the attorney general and to answer the questions under oath as required by these subpoenas.